industrial building in Williamsburg, artist and textile designer Alfie Udgiri found a light-drenched loft where she could create three bedrooms for her family and their cat, the Shaw. Let's take a look at her eclectic but spare decor and how she and her family live in it today. The first thing we decided on for the bedroom was that mm -hmm. yellow canopy bed. From there, I picked this crazy wild, like, but not like this muted geometric wallpaper. The carpet that's in the bedroom was meant to go in the living room. The size was wrong, the colors were wrong, it didn't look right, but it worked perfectly there. So there's one painted wall in the office and I wanted to add some kind of color in there and I actually called my father and I was like, should I paint this whole room or is that gonna look dark? And he's like, oh, you should just paint that one wall. And I picked this green, it was called like historic New England green. I thought it would be a fun juxtaposition. It's, it's like so urban outside and then to have like the plants and this like, you know, dark green. The hand chairs, I became addicted to everything but the house. This auction app for, for people, yeah, I was like, I gotta have them. I love them so much. When we moved here, my daughter was at the age where she was transitioning from a crib to a big girl's bed. So I wanted to make it really special for her and exciting. So I found this <laughs> house-shaped bunk bed. It's from Pottery Barn Kids. And uh, yeah, she, she loves it. I wanted to do something botanical, but I didn't want to do something obvious. After searching, going from like the design building to like every little corner of the internet, I finally found this wallpaper manufacturer in Italy who's extremely affordable. When I was pregnant, I got really into beads. And I would go see this bead guy in Harlem and things escalated. And I left one day with this beaded chair on my back <laughs> when it was raining. And I was like seven months pregnant or something. And uh, uh, man, I love it. It's from Nigeria. It is a throne. I also have this Werner Panton chair that's designed to give you some breathing space from whoever, <laughs> whoever you're with. What we can learn in this space is that your sense of restraint with color and pattern is just as important as your commitment to it. Alfie's new apartment is a terrific celebration of a calmness and serenity in that restraint and also the great exuberance and vibrancy of indulging in color and pattern. 